This is a continuation of the video on introductions to exponential functions. Today we're going to be looking at the graphs of these functions and we're going to be analyzing them. We're still going to be looking at um, the I can statement of identifying and evaluating exponential functions and their graph. Let's look at this exponential function f of x equals 3 to the x. The first thing we want to do is graph this function. So to do that, we're going to pick some x values to put into this function and find out what y is. So we're going to make a table. We know that the domain of this function is all real numbers. We can put in any x value that we want to. So we're going to start with negative 4. When I put negative 4 in for x, I get 3 to the negative 4th power. The negative exponent means reciprocal. So that means the reciprocal of 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is 81, and its reciprocal is 1 over 81. If I divide that and round it to two places, that gives me 0.01. I'm going to put in negative 2 now. 3 to the negative 2 means the reciprocal of 3 squared. The reciprocal of 3 squared is 1 ninth. Putting in negative 1, I get 3 to the negative 1, which is the reciprocal of 3, which is one-third. Putting in zero, I get three to the zero power. Any number to the zero power, except for zero itself, is always one. Putting in one, I get three to the first, which is three. Putting in two, I get three to the second, which is nine. So now I'm gonna graph these points and get my exponential graph. When I graph negative four, one, 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 eighty-first, <laughs> then I'm going to come over here to negative 4 and 181st is a very tiny number, 0.01. It's very close to 0. When I type in negative 2, I'm going to come over here to negative 2 and I'm going to get 1 ninth, a little bit bigger but still a tiny number. When I put in negative 1, I get 1 third. When I put in 0, I get 1. When I put in 1, I get 3. When I put in 2, I get 9. You can see how this function grows very slowly and then all of a sudden it begins to grow quite rapidly. That's what happens with exponential growth. There are some critical points that you should remember so that when you graph these um, you know what the shape is and you know these critical points. So we're going to be putting this function in our library of functions. When I put in negative 1, that means to take the reciprocal of the base. When I put in 0, I'm always going to get 1, and when I put in 1, it means to that, that the y value is going to equal the base. So I can remember that when I put in the negative exponent, I'm going to get the reciprocal of the base. Putting in 0 for the exponent always gives me 1, and putting in 1 will always give me the base. The domain of this function is all real numbers. The range of this function is from 0 to positive infinity, not including 0, because this function will never reach 0. The y value will never be 0. It'll get very, very close, but it won't ever reach 0. This means that there is an asymptote, a line that the function will never touch, and in this case it's the x-axis right here, or y equals 0. This function will never equal zero. The y-intercept of this function is one. The end behavior of this function, how do the ends of this function behave? Well, as x gets smaller, then the y value here is going to get closer to zero. So as x gets smaller, the y values are getting closer to zero, but they will never equal zero. On the other end, as the x's get bigger, so as x is getting bigger, the y values are also getting bigger. That's end behavior. And this is an increasing function over its whole domain. The y value is increasing from negative infinity to infinity. Let's look at another. f of x equals 2 to the negative x. We're going to graph this, again, making a table. When I take negative 2 and put it in for x, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, and 2 squared is 4. 
when I put in negative 1, the opposite of negative 1 is 1, and 2 to the first is 2. When I put in 0, I'm still going to get 2 to the 0, which is 1. When I put in 1, I'm going to get 2 to the negative 1, which means the reciprocal of 2 to the first. The reciprocal of 2 to the first is 1 half. When I put in 2, I get 2 to the negative 2, which is the reciprocal of 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. When I graph these points, this is what my graph looks like. Negative 2, 4, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1 half, and 2, 1 fourth. I hope you notice that this negative inside the function has caused my um, exponential function to reflect over the y-axis. My first function, 3 to the x, looked like this, going this direction, going here like, a, like this. And then this function, because of the negative, has reflected over the y-axis, and so now it is coming this way. Critical points still. Remember when you put in negative 1, okay? The negative is going to change it to a positive, so I just have 2 to the first, so that's 2. When I put in 0, I get 1. When I put in 1 here, I'm going to get really 2 to the negative 1, which is the reciprocal of a base. So negative 1, 2, 0, 1, and 1, 1 half. The domain, all real numbers. The range from 0 to positive infinity, not including 0 because this function will never reach 0. It will never touch the x-axis. That means there's an asymptote at the x-axis, which is the line y equals 0. The y-intercept of this function is 1. The end behavior of this function as x gets smaller, as x gets smaller, the f of x gets bigger. And on the other end, as the x gets bigger, the f of x is getting closer to 0. This function decreases. The y value decreases over the whole domain from negative infinity to infinity. So this is a decreasing function. Now, what I want you to do is to try and graph one of these on your own. I want you to graph it, tell me the domain and the range, tell me what the asymptote is, I want to know about the y-intercept, the end behavior of both ends, and whether it is an increasing or decreasing function, and over what interval. Pause the video, try this, then come back and check your answers. Here are the answers to f of x equals 6 to the negative x. The graph is here on the right. You can see that the domain is all real numbers. The range is from 0 to infinity. It has an asymptote of the x-axis, which is y equals 0. The y-intercept is 1. For the end behavior, as x gets bigger, down this way, f of x gets closer to 0. As x gets smaller, the f of x gets bigger. This is a decreasing function over the entire domain. Now I want you to try another one. Try and graph and analyze 5 to the x. Pause the video, do this on your paper, and then come back and see what you did. Here are the answers to f of x equals 5 to the x. The graph is on the right. The domain is all real numbers. The range from 0 to infinity, not including 0, because there is an asymptote at y equals 0, which is the x-axis. The y-intercept is 1. For the end behavior, in this case, as x gets bigger, f of x gets bigger. And as x gets smaller, f of x gets closer to 0. This is an increasing function over its whole domain. The y value is increasing. Now I want you to try one more. We're going to include in this one 
a transformation from the last unit. Pause the video, try this, and then come back and check your work. Here are your answers. f of x equals 1 fourth to the x plus 1. The graph is on the right. The domain is all real numbers. The range this time has changed because we've shifted this up one unit because outside the function we have plus 1. So the whole graph shifted up one. So now, instead of this function getting closer and closer to zero, it's getting closer and closer to one. So the range is from one to positive infinity, not including one because y equals one is the asymptote. The y-intercept has changed from zero one to zero two. The end behavior at both ends as x gets bigger, the y value, or the f of x, is going to get closer to 1. As x gets smaller, the f of x is getting bigger. This is a decreasing function over its whole domain.